All right, so we just did a little bit about um, freehanding planes and a little bit about freehanding like cubes and boxes. So um, we'll move on to something uh, something a little different, um, a little more mathematical. Uh, you know, when you when you are using these these tools and you have um, an application uh, for it, um, like you're drawing a building, uh, you're drawing a car, something like that you're immediately going to need um, to be able to find the exact center of a plane, um, especially if you're doing any, any sort of like architectural rendering type thing. So um, uh, go ahead and we'll go ahead and just draw a plane. Uh, just in one point perspective for now, keeping away from two point just yet. So you're gonna be able, uh, right after this, you're gonna be able to find the center of any plane, it's uh, so once you have the plane, the, the centering is ridiculously easy. Uh, now we're gonna find this this vertical center. All you're gonna do is draw an X corner to corner from uh, in this uh, in this plane that you've just created. So anytime that you're having trouble understanding perspective, take whatever plane you're working on and draw it out flat. So this plane that we're working with is actually a rectangle like this. And to find its center, we're just drawing an X through it. Boom, that, that simple. So then you go from this center point that you just found to the vanishing point. And then you're just gonna draw a line down Bam. So now you found the, uh, the sort of vertical center of a plane. Um, and this can be applied in, in any direction, any angle. Um, and we're going to go ahead and, uh, and uh, uh, stop there and we'll continue on with the horizontal center of a plane um, from here.